Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. It's me again. I've been absent for quite some time and even now trying to get this video together, I'm having a bit of a struggle, but I'm going to make it through it so that you people know that I'm still alive and kicking. As I've been making things around the house and projects and whatever, I've been doing little videos or taking pictures and I've been putting them in a folder on my uh, computer called YouTube so that I could put it all together and then upload it as soon as I had time. Uh, the past six months, my blood sugar went crazy out of control and uh, the doctor switched up my meds. I'm uh, He upped my metformin now, I'm on 2000 a day and I took a weekly shot of Ozempic. So um, it really tires me out. And then I also had Lyrica added for my arthritis and my neuropathy, and it just knocks me right out. So it's really an effort to get anything done. Um, I got home at work from work this morning at seven. I managed to get three hours of sleep. I went to the store, I went to the bank. I finished up a project that I'm gonna show you. And I decided that for the rest of this night, it's eight o'clock already. I'm gonna try to get this video together and upload it to YouTube. So without further ado, what have I been up to? Let's take a look. I've been working on these uh, ornaments. They're gnomes with, uh, designed with the Buffalo Bills. I made tall ones that were for the indoor and they were 31 inches tall. And uh, I sold 30 of those. And then I got the idea to make smaller ones uh, and put rods, steel rods in them so that they could go in the yard outside. And I've made, I think, 26 of these. And I'm selling those too. So yeah, this has been keeping me really busy for quite a while. I've been working on these whenever I get a chance. And I ended up making uh, nine more of the big ones. So I made altogether 39 of the big tall ones and 26 of these smaller ones. This is a project I just finished tonight. I made house numbers with my last name and I put them on a plaque and I attached it to the front of the house. Uh, so when people are delivering pizza or whatever, they can see my house number and my name. I've been progressing with these bears at all, but I have little bit by little bit worked on them and they are coming along. They're all in various stages of uh, production. I've said that the kids will all graduate college before I get them done. The thing about it is, is I won't carve on them when I'm tired because I do not want to slip and cut off a finger. So um, I have to be sure that I'm really alert. And like I said, lately I've been so tired that uh, it's a better idea not to try to work with a razor sharp knife and try to carve on the bears. But there's periods of time when, when I do work on them, I can, I can tell the end is near. Maybe another... Mm, Maybe another month or two months or who knows. <laughs> I uh, brought the camera out to do a little quick walk around the backyard uh, while I was waiting to put this video up. I was going to give you a quick shot of our garden. My nephew and I managed to get it all together. He did all the labor. I just told him what to do. Uh, if you can see it over there, that's the garden. And then I wanted to show you we have cottonwood everywhere and it's floating up these fuzzies. They are everywhere. They're horrible. They make my eyes itch. Uh, it affects your breathing and uh, all right so let's go back here in the backyard I've been working on the patio I've got some flowers going and I've been taking care of things that I've planted and watching it grow way back there in the corner of that dirt pile you see way back there is where the foxes live and uh, I've got some flowers in the pots now I might have to get a couple more but everything's coming together the feeders are up my decorations are up I gotta clean out that gutter but uh, 
<clears throat> pretty much it's ready all done this is uh yeah these are all plants that i just put in and the uh, planter on the end here you see these two plaques one of them was just a plain the uh, this one on the left was a plain concrete thing and i painted it the other one my son and his wife gave me for my birthday the don't hurry be happy one there's that dirt pile where the foxes live back there in the corner of the yard and over there is my i call it my berry patch um, I've got strawberries and uh, raspberries over there. Those are some melons they started. And let's not forget the wildlife that's been going on, which um, I get up in the morning and sit at my back window with my camera and my coffee. Uh, the raccoons have been here with their babies uh, and the foxes. And they're over in the corner of the yard just about every morning. And I've been watching them grow from little round fuzzy things to they're getting kind of long and lean looking now. And I went through a period of the baby raccoon keeps climbing the post where I have my Oreo uh, jelly feeder and knocking the cups out and licking all the jelly out of them and also swinging from the Oreo or the hummingbird feeder and uh, tipping it so that it can drink all the hummingbird uh, mix. So yeah, it's been kind of busy with uh, keeping up with the pad, getting the patio already, recording um, the critters out in the backyard and trying to keep up on my flower beds and things, plus work. So let's see what kind of critter shots I got for you. <laughs> Sadly, uh, the sparrows attacked this wren, and I found her dead on the patio yesterday. And uh, it's really uh, disturbed me more than I thought it would. I'm so used to her song from dusk till dawn, and now it's quiet out there. And last but not least, there's the little baby raccoon with his mother in the background. Thanks, you, uh, thanks guys, for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.